Hey there, I'm Lemur, and welcome to Treasure Trove, a series on custom magic items for D&D and Pathfinder. Today, we'll be looking at some ancient amulets, ones that will really freshen up any kind of RPG game. Getting straight into things, first we've got the Amulet of the Broken Phoenix. This is a sizeable chain amulet, styled to show the image of a large bird. In the heat of battle, the emblem seems to give off a faint red glow, and on occasion faint embers emanate from it. The item contains powerful life energy, but the passing of time has made it hard to access, so it only comes out in intense situations. The way this item works is that it has a counter, and each time the wearer of the amulet receives a critical hit, the counter is increased by 1. When this counter reaches 5, the wearer is healed to their maximum, and receives temporary bonus hit points above their maximum, equal to the current value of the counter. At this point, the counter resets back to 0, and the value at which the item triggers increases by 5. So it triggers at 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. It's a pretty fun item to have as it gives the player something to look forward to in otherwise desperate situations, and it can give a cool roleplay moment when it finally triggers and the players get to drastically turn the fight around and negate what would be otherwise a decisive blow. It's definitely an item more suited to longer campaigns though, just something to keep in mind. Moving right along to our second amulet, we have the Dragon Scale Furnace. This amulet resembles something of a golden locket with small grey gemstones fitted into it. However, it is far bigger and bulkier than a normal locket, and is overall quite thick and sturdy. Opening the locket reveals a space for the scale of a dragon to fit inside, and while a scale is inside, the gemstones fitted into the locket change their colour to that of the scale. This item is a pretty interesting one, as what it does is basically that if you place a scale of a dragon inside the locket, the dragon who the scale originated from loses their ability to use their breath weapon, and the wearer gains it instead. This effect only works if the original dragon is still alive forever. Now, there's one more aspect to this amulet that can really spice things up. If the scale in this locket is returned to the original dragon after being in the locket for at least 24 hours, then not only does the dragon recover their breath weapon, the breath weapon is empowered and it does an additional die of damage, and the DC to resist the attack is increased by 2. This item can really shake up the plot of a campaign, as it has many more uses than you would first think upon hearing its description. It is an item coveted by both adventurers and dragons alike, as both parties can potentially benefit from it. Its effect can be powerful for the traveller who uses it, but risky as now there is a dragon after them looking to return their power to them. However, it can also be used as a means of diplomacy, as most dragons won't care about the item itself, but the effect it can provide them is invaluable to most dragons. If you've got some dragons in your game, have a think about the impact this item could have on things, and if you come up with any interesting conclusions, let me know in the comments. Third, and lastly, is the Amber Heart Amulet. Held by a golden thread, this amulet is shaped like an anatomically correct heart, and is made of pure, solid amber. Users of this amulet sometimes claim that the heart pulses at night, much like a real heart, but closer observations show nothing of the sort. This particular amulet is a real game changer. The wearer of the Amber Heart's total hit points are tripled, leaving them with a gargantuan health pool. Their health pool now also returns to the maximum each full night of rest. However, the wearer of the amulet from the moment they put it on can now no longer receive any kind of external healing whatsoever. There's more, this anti-healing effect actually persists after the amulet is taken off. If the player wants to return to normal, then each day they get one shot as a DC 25 constitution saving throw, but if they fail, they're stuck in a state of no healing until their next attempt. This is an item that can really make combat hit differently, especially if you give it to a party whose strategy relies heavily on healing. With this item, every blow traded in combat matters a lot more, as now it can't be so easily undone. Players who enjoy the more number-focused side of RPGs will get a fair amount of enjoyment weighing up whether or not this item is worth it, although the element of risk brought in by how much of a commitment the item is to use will very much prevent things from becoming stale. Those were today's trio of items, some rather unique amulets if I do say so myself. I tried to make sure that every item in this trio would have a heavy impact on how the characters in your campaigns function and act, as to me, the best items in RPGs are the ones that are much more than the sum of their parts. If you thought these were some interesting items too, then let me know in the comments or leave a like on the video. I'm ready to hear whatever kind of feedback you've got for me. Lastly, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, then subscribing to my channel would do me a great favour. Once again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.